Hello everyone and welcome back to the OpenGL tutorial. In this video we're going to be creating our <coughs> first window uh, in OpenGL and all it will have is a blank background uh, and that's the most exciting thing we'll do uh, today but eventually we'll be getting to creating triangles, polygons, uh, and shapes uh, with shaders, shadows, all that good stuff. Um, so the first thing we want to do uh, is add a couple of include statements. Um, so we're only going to be working in main.cpp for this video. Uh, and for the f probably the first, well, no, it'll only be for this video because after this, uh, we'll be splitting up uh, different uh, function functions into different files so we can organize our code a bit. So in the, uh, after the glfw3 include, uh, add another include statement, so hashtag include and it'll be glad slash glad dot h. So I'm simply following uh, the tutorial on learnopengl.com and it's just gonna be the hello world, hello window page. Um, so after that, we can go into our main uh, method and uh, type out this code over here. So it's gonna be glfw init, so that just initializes glfw, we're gonna then we're going to pass some hints over to the window. So this will be about uh, GLFW or GL open GL uh, uh, properties. So uh, GLFW window hint. We're going to pass in GLFW context version major three, and then GLFW window hint GLFW context version minor. So this tells uh, GLFW, so it's just going to say open GL version 3.3. Um, so next, uh, we just want to say use the core profile for open GL. Uh, so that's just going to be GLFW window hint, uh, GLFW open GL profile, uh, and it's just going to be GLFW uh, open GL core profile like so. Uh, and then this last line here is only if we're on Apple. Um, so I believe, let me see how they do it real, really quickly. Um, so the way they say it is if def Apple. Um, so if we're on, an, uh, if we're on Mac OS, uh, there's gonna be something defined, uh, just a macro Apple. So if def and then two underscores Apple, uh, we're going to go ahead and pass this window hit to do forward compat. Um, and this is just, just this, just, this is needed to make it work on, uh, Mac OS. Um, so I just end if, all right. Oh, where am I? Here we go. End if. Okay. So in here, uh, you just want to say GLFW window hint, uh, GLFW open GL forward compat gl underscore true. Um, so this is just only defined for Apple and it's needed for Mac OS to run. All right, um, so now we can actually initialize our window object. So like I said in the last video where we installed it, uh, you should know a bit about C++, namely about pointers, uh, because we're gonna be using pointers a lot in this uh, series. So the first one we're actually going to be using is right now where we instantiate our window object. So glfw in uppercase and then window in all lowercase pointer window is equal to glfw create window and then we're going to pass in the width 800, the height 600, then the title uh, open gl tutorial and then just null and null because we don't really care about the monitor uh, that it goes on right now. Um, and then we just want to check to see if the window is actually created. Uh, so if window is null, uh, it didn't, it wasn't able to create it. So we're going to get just print out, uh, could not create window. And then we're going to return negative one. And, we'll, and before returning, actually, we have to uh, terminate uh, glfw so terminate or so the function is just gl glfw terminate and then oh don't put a colon put a semicolon 
and then return negative one. And then after that, if statement, just do uh, glfw make context current and then window. So that just sets the current uh, focus of glfw to this window. I'm still in caps for some reason. Okay. Um, so now we're actually going to be adding our glad code. So this allows us to uh, manage uh, our G uh, OpenGL functions and classes. Um, so we actually have to load in glad. So uh, we'll test to see if it actually did not load um, through this uh, conditional statement. So if not glad load gl loader, and then uh, we're going to cast uh, a something to a glad load proc. Um, too many parentheses, or no, actually not. There were enough parentheses, um, and uh, we're going to cast a glfw get proc address right there. There now, now there are too many parentheses. Don't know why. And then if it if that failed, so if that returned false, we did not uh, initialize glad. Um, so oop, failed to initialize glad. STD and L. Uh, we want to terminate uh, glfw, so glfw terminate, uh, and then return negative one. Um, and then next, uh, we want to set our viewport. Um, so we have to. So this is essentially going to tell glf uh, OpenGL how to display everything that we tell to, how to render all the data that we give it. Um, so this is done through gl viewport. And it's going to be the position of the window, so 0, 0, and then 800, 600. So that's just the position and then the width and height of the window. Um, next, uh, we have to create a callback um, for the frame buffer size. So uh, this happens every time the, this function will be called once the uh, window is resized. And as a result, OpenGL will be able to resize or uh, display data differently so we don't don't just get a black bar around our actual display so it'll the, we'll have to create a callback and that'll be void and then frame buffer size callback and we're going to pass in a glfw window pointer called a window and int width and height uh, and then down here uh, after the viewport you want to say um, glfw set frame buffer size callback and then we're going to pass in window and then the pointer to the method so frame uh, buffer size callback now we actually have to define the method so under your main method or wherever you want to do it um, just go ahead and do void frame buffer size callback and then essentially copy the template from uh, our definition up top. Uh, so a glfw window pointer, uh, int width and int height. And all we're gonna do is just reset the gl viewport every time it's resized. So gl viewport uh, is zero, zero, width, height. So you can see how uh, this might be beneficial um, because if we resize the window, uh, we could tell it to do something cool, like we can make it display a message or something. Um, but yeah. Um, so now we're actually going to be creating our uh, main while loop. So the way all rendering engines work, uh, all graphics work, is there's an initialized section, and then there's a main while loop that iterates until told not to. So once, and then once that uh, while loop ends, uh, it uh, terminates the program. Um, so in this while loop for now, all, all we're going to do is go while, and then it should be not glfw window should close. So while the window should not close, and then pass in the window, uh, we're going to do glfw swap buffers uh, window, and then glfw pull events. So the uh, swap buffers um, tell. So essentially, a GPU, if I understand this properly. Um, tell me if I'm wrong in the comments because I'm not an expert on this. Um, so it essentially generates 
the next frame when it's displaying the current frame. So the frame that it has now, it's generating the next frame simultaneously. So once this frame ends, it's ready just to shoot it to the screen uh, immediately. So we have to tell the window to swap the buffers uh, every time it generates that new frame. Um, so yeah, uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, so send new frame to window. Uh, just like that. <sighs> okay. Um, so yeah, the single buffer, uh, it, it'll be just flickering because uh, in, in in this way we have a double buffer so that it generates two, it, it has a backup frame at the current moment, but in single buffer it only displays frames when it's ready to show, which will uh, essentially have flickering issues, um, which is uh, wrong, which you don't want to see in any in a game or something. All right, and then after all this, uh, we want to just go ahead and say uh, glfw terminate uh, before the return statement. And when we run, uh, let's go ahead and just build it just to make sure everything works. Um, okay. Open gl head error already included. Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so, Glad already includes GLFW. Wait. Let me try commenting this out. No, that's... What's wrong with this? Let me just check the code over here. Let me try putting this up top. I, oh, you know what? I should probably just put it above. Um... And yeah, that works. Um, so just make sure that you include GLAD before you include GLFW because for some reason, uh, GLAD doesn't want you including it twice, uh, which is weird because you should be able to, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, GLFW includes OpenGL, um, so it doesn't want you to include it twice, so just make sure you do GLAD first. And now when we run it, we should get a window. Yay! That's our first OpenGL to, uh, window. That's very nice. Does nothing so far, but it looks like a window, which is good. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is just a quick uh, little uh, input demonstration. Um, so all we'll be doing uh, is we'll create a method uh, to process input. So we'll create the template up top. So void process input and then pass in GL, and we're going to pass in glfw window pointer to the window. Uh, that's all. And then under the frame buffer uh, definition, just do void process input and do the same thing. So glfw window pointer. And we're just going to test to see if the escape is pressed down. So if glfw get key window comma glfw escape key. So this is a Mac or uh, key escape. My um, that's just a uh, definition for that uh, key code is equal to glfw press. So if the state of the key uh, is in press, uh, we want to set the window to close. So glfw set oh, set window should close window true. So that essentially says the window should close at the time. And that and when we when we're done with this. This uh, that while loop will end at that point. So before we set that uh, the close key or the close button on the top of the window as ending this, but now it will be the glfw uh, set window should close. Um, so now we need to add this method to the while loop. So at the beginning of every while loop, we want to process this input. So process input window. And every time we press the escape key, we should have the we should have the window closed. So this and then escape, and it works just like that. And then that's uh, our process. Blah blah blah. And now we want to do some rendering just to change the color. Just demo for that. So render. Um, so you want to do gl clear color. 0.2f, 0.3f, 
0.3f and the 1.0f, so this is an RGPA format. Uh, and then just do gl clear gl underscore color underscore buffer underscore bit, just like that. So that essentially says clear the entire window and set the color to that, um, which is essentially a background. And there we go. So that's our window right now. Press escape and it works. Done. All right, so now that we have our window uh, ready, um, I'm just gonna tell you guys what I have planned. Um, so in the next video, uh, we'll be learning some of the math and fig physics that we'll need to create our OpenGL window, uh, some of the stuff that you will need to know, writing graphics to understand it fully, and then the physics uh, we can use to create our, create our own game engine, uh, which will be pretty cool because we can simulate some stuff forces, momentum, energy, and all that good stuff. So that'll probably be one to two streams, but we'll be learning a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, so I will see you guys then. Bye.